on The White tonight, we've been talking a lot about the personal aspects of being a new dad and wanting, sometimes needing, to be at home with a new baby. The final voice tonight is Robert White. He gets the personal angle because he has a new baby girl. She's adorable. You're going to see it in a second. But he's also a council member here in D.C., helping push through a new universal paid family leave program that would allow moms and dads to maintain an income while they spend time with their newborns. I asked him about the plan, what it means to him, plus if the raw economics support it. Council Member White, uh, we're looking at a case study of D.C., and it just so happens that universal paid family leave uh, has been a big initiative over the past few years. It has not been bumpless, uh, but it seems to be in progress. Um, so could you lay out the, the general framework of what we would have here in D.C.? So generally in D.C., over the next year or so, we will start to collect a 0.62% uh, tax from our businesses. And the following year, we will have a paid leave uh, program that ranges from two weeks to eight weeks, depending on what you uh, need leave for. But, uh, you know, as a, as a new dad and as someone who has elderly people in my family, I just I know it's a necessary step in the district and other states that might be aspiring to have uh, a, a similar plan in, in place. What would new dads have? Uh, new dads would have the same amount of leave time as new moms, which uh, I think one is necessary, but also is in keeping with the times. I think the role of dads has changed, and so government has to recognize that. I think business has to recognize that, and we have to work together to ensure that dads have an opportunity to bond and to help moms out, uh, or, or co-dads, or whatever uh, you may have. But dads will get the same leave that, that moms get, and, uh, and it will be paid. And that's the most important thing. Do you think it's economically feasible? It is economically feasible. Every time you introduce a significant new uh, restriction or aspect of a workforce, it's going to take some time for the market to get to understand it and to understand how it works. And if I were a business owner, I certainly would have the same concerns that I'm hearing. And so what we have to do is take our time to iron out the bumps. I know for a fact that the system that we're implementing now in DC will probably not be the system that we have 10, 20 years from now as other jurisdictions do it and maybe we or they learn how to do it better. So we'll, we'll iron out the wrinkles, but we will make it work. Paid paternity leave is so important. My uh, only daughter so far was born when I was on the campaign trail. And when I would get home in the evenings, I would love honestly nothing more than spending time with my daughter. But I also would see every day how tired my wife was uh, mm -hmm. really doing this uh, incredible lift by herself. And what I recognize as well is that everyone, every family is not able to, uh, to have mom take off three months or however much uh, they need to. And so this becomes a shared responsibility. Uh, as a father and as a husband, I can tell you that my wife who works for the federal government couldn't afford to have another baby uh, before essentially now or next year because she had to reaccumulate leave. So if we could share that responsibility, it would put less of a financial burden on our family and less of a burden on my wife. I thought it was really nice talking to these three men for this segment tonight because they all talked about fatherhood in a totally different way that they very much want to be hands-on, involved, want to be there for every step of the child's life. So I thought they were all very cool.